जननी शरणाम देवी राम कृष्ण जगद गुरु पार पद्मे तयो श्रीवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहु ओम शांति 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 वी सैल्यूट श्री राम कृष्ण एंड होली मदर और मदर एंड फादर अगेन एंड अगेन ओम पीस 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 so we are talking about mantra shakti mantra the word <coughs> two words mantra is some sacred syllable it's called mantra says mantra if we try to understand the mantra the words come mananath trayate iti mantra it is some type of holy words by reflecting upon which again and again mananat manan means reflection reflecting again and again on such word which redeems us from bondage which takes away our ignorance so that is called the mantra and the rishis the seers of truth they are called mantra drashta drashta means those who have seen these mantras so the mantra drashta rishis they re, they have their some practice and that through that practice of repetition of the same word again or later again and again and again the inner truth which is hidden that is totally that con the ignorance is destroyed and we say that mantra has a shakti any sound when it is repeated innumerable times you get the strength of it power of it then look at our day to day life someone calls you hello my friend i haven't seen you for a long time no and if you say hey you rascal the two words all our words are <clears throat> alphabets permutation and combination words have come syllable with permutation and combination gives us the word you lovingly call someone sweety and summon someone in a harsh language you say something see the distinction what is the power of the word so power means anything has a connotation good connotation bad connotation hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari hari just similarly because this word hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari hari which has been repeated million billion trillion times as a result what happens when somewhere we see we he listen these words instantly it gives us little boosting into the spiritual uh feeling of something pure and something blissful and rather you go into another place where they are all talking of mundane talks they have their power also so any sound any word later makes a sound and the sound is make used for a particular purpose if you use it, use it for a bad purpose that word gets a bad connotation and if it is used in a good purpose that gets a boosting so shabdo the word has its power anyway and when we think mantra shakti that this mantra <clears throat> which has freed some person from his ignorance and which has given him eternal joy and peace inside by repeating that mantra that it has it generated a potential power in it and this potential power when i first 
receive that sound or hear that sabd it is called in the ear we get the mantra from our gurus we hear through the ear when it hits us at the very beginning it is a sound but some what is the meaning many people say what is the meaning meaning of this mantra it does not make any sense it does not resonate in our heart but those who are little pure in their understanding and they are pure in their heart some people i saw or i have heard from our swami is listening this mantra itself immediately they have some tears of joy comes out the haripilation over the body happens because they are they can catch that vibration they can catch the potential energy which is embedded there it unfolds for him for a little bit so mantra have a power but though we first receive it it is like any sound may not reflect in my heart the consciousness of god or the joy which we are expecting but nevertheless it has its potential power one day to unfold and give us infinite joy so sri ramakrishna said that mantra is it when uh, in the song the singing of whole life nitai amar mata hati the nitai nityananda is my mad elephant is mad and intoxicated in the name of god no nitai amar mata hati and the one person singing that song started dancing nitai amar mata hati nitai amar mata hati nitai is my mad elephant no intoxicated in god's love is like a mad elephant mad elephant does thing which can recklessly destroy all the things all the dualities are breaking down all the external worldly thing is just being destroyed so he is talking about nitai amar mata hati and then absorption comes by repeating again and again and again when one gets absorbed into this sentence then is words becoming lesson and lesson and lesson then ramakrishna says mata hati mata hati then goes mata falls down hati hati and then ha 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 that means when it it has the potential power in that because that chant has been done so many times and people have added some devotional flavor into that word that sentence that it intoxicates the person and that intoxication goes as deep as deep as it he forgets the external uh, other outer world forgets the total uh, expression expressing the total sentence it is reduced 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 and then we come ha ha upanishadic says say also ha bu ha <laughs> that means ha ha that means when the upanishad says that when the sages practice this and meditates on that uh, then they, they are so much charged with anand the bliss and they cannot say anything they only say ha bu ha this this word has no meaning ha bu ha no meaning but an expression of infinite joy so see the word and particularly this mantras have that deep potential power ready to manifest in anyone's life but it is to be nurtured and practiced and practice so that when the mind will be ready then it fructifies even people repeating the mantra those who have practiced i have heard from our swami is also say every day someone is doing 10000 japa with concentration first no concentration 
mind will run here and there. Okay, let it go. But you go on repeating, repeating, repeating. And after some time, constant use, you can feel some sort of taste in your palm. There's a taste. What taste will come? You are not chewing some candy, but you are taking the name of the Lord. That will bring that, that nice feeling of sweetness in the tongue itself. So mantra has that potential power to give all this taste of God. And that mantra also has the inner potentiality to remove our ignorance and free us from all bondage. So though Rama Holy Mother said mantra, what is this bija? Mantra Shakti manifests to the bija. Bija means seed. When we get our mantra initiation, all of you know three parts are there. One is the Brahman part, Om. Another is the main part, last. And there are middle, some words, letters. So what is the meaning of the mantra? There is no meaning. Meaning is that there is a seed hidden there. Seed, if you keep the seed and it remains in a or spread over a stone. That stone, it will not, you don't see anything comes out of the seed. But if the seed gets fertilizer, water, and the ground ready, you find that the sprout is coming out. And then that small sprout manifests itself as a plant and then grows into the tremendous gigantic, even he called gigantic uh, banyan tree. Huh? You cannot believe, Holy Mother said, in the, in the seed, that potential power is, we can, can you imagine if you have seen the banyan tree seed in one ball, there will be millions or billions maybe seeds, small, tiny, it can be cast this way, uh, but we don't pay any attention to that. But if it is put into the proper ground and it is given the love and devotion to it, then it will flourish like that. A simple example of Vedantic mantra or the mantra of the devotional practice, any, any one mantra can bring its own potential result. Vedanta teaching says that, think I am that. Aham Brahmasmi. How many times it has been chanted? Aham Brahmasmi, I am that. I am that is a simple word. But this has the potential power to take away all the ignorance of the individual and the individual feel, I am not this limited. I am that absolute, the consciousness in me and the consciousness in the whole cosmos. The same consciousness and I am that consciousness, that essential bliss, and that peace eternal. Think about that. That's called, it's called Mahabhakya in, in, in the Sanskrit Vedantic language. Maha is a great bakyo, they call it dictum. There are many words, but this word is a, you can say it is, a, it is not considered seed mantra as in the tantric tradition we have it, but the power of the mantra is my point. It has the potential power. You day and night say, I am that, I am that, I am that. And it reveals and builds that energy in you and you feel totally different. Ten times you tell yourself, I am that. See how you feel. We met one Swami, I told many times maybe, in Uttar Kasi. So uh, he was a Vedantic sadhu. So we went to see our revered Suhita Nandaji Maharaj was there. And that time he was a, and I also had some vacation. We met together in Uttar Kasi and we went to see sadhus how these outside sadhus, they live. So we went to a Vedanta sadhu, and that sadhu is saying, Chandra Manehi, 
There is no moon. Suraj nahi hai. There is no sun, no moon, no earth, no, no trees, no plants, nothing. I am that. I am that. What is this? This can give a person a tremendous energy to unfold the infinite power within to feel that I am this little puny, tiny, this flesh and bone, this personality, which is afraid every day for this, for that, what is happening. And that is saying, I am infinite. I have no fear. I'm deathless. I'm birthless. That is called the Shakti. The Shakti came not by our application. It has been applied before. So the, it has generated some spiritual energy in it, in these words, because it is the experience of the sages. Similarly, the mantras which we normally practice, these mantras also, the ancient seers, when they meditated on God, and these mantras came in the form of a bright letter, just revealed in their eyes by repeating the Lord's prayer or whatever way they were meditating. These are the symbols of that infinite. Here is the question. To understand the Bija mantras are the symbol or pratika of the infinite truth. And by repeating that, that energy comes into our mind. And our mind which is sleeping, dormant mind, gets awakened into the consciousness of that power which has been injected into it by the sages in the past. And that was handed down to their disciple, to their disciple, to their disciple, and then came and become more revitalized. Now, recently, as Swami Atmogyananda Swami said, that the same energy is recharged again. You know what happens when the earlier, now I do not know, towers are there, the Wi Fi towers. And as you go a little distance, its strength reduces, reduces. Then you put another booster, huh? another tower. So these incarnations and others, they come to revitalize those energies which was potent, again revitalize them. That's why they become very powerful. And what they give us, that removes our ignorance and darkness. So mantra has a power and that shakti is hidden, but we have to know, we have to know how to unfold it. That Holy Mother said, then do ajapa, do japa. Don't think about anything. Go on, day and night, repeating the mantra. It will unfold its hidden power. And that power is to reveal who, I, who we are, or what is my relationship with God, and how I am different from that, what I think about them myself. So Vedantic way we can have some, select some mantra. And the way our gurus give the mantra for dualistic sadhana, that's also another. There you can take any mantra. See, why this Viveka Churamuni special verses, also Upanishads, like that. Why it has so much power? Because it has been meditated, meditated, and the words have tremendous energy in it, just being uh, potentially punched there as it were. Say, call, the Upanishad says, Tade Jati, Tannai Jati, Tadure Taduantike, Tadantarasya Sarvasya, Tadu uh, Bajabhantarasya. So, that, 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 what is vibrating? What is not vibrating? It is all that consciousness. What is in the far distance? What is in the near? So just this mantra of the Upanishad, one can just sit and chant. It gives, it immediately uplifts our mind. It is, what is the difference between so many books we read, how many novels, how many uh, history, this, that we read, 
but how this one simple statement, one simple line can bring so much spiritual energy in our feeling. Uh, whatever is vibrating. That which does not vibrate. That which vibrates, moving, living, that which does not, the more mountain, stone, rocks, that which is tadure, taduantike, that which is farthest of the farther, farther than the farthest, nearer than the nearest, tadantarasya sarvasya, that truth in the heart of all. I'm talking, taking a longer mantra. Tadantarasya sarvasya, tadu sarvasya subhajjata, that consciousness, that blissfulness is also inside, it's also outside of every being. So these are simple two lines, but it gives us food, spiritual nurturing for a long time. It can. See, we, we read the Shankara charges. They say, Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham. Huh? When you say Chidananda, how it resonates in our heart? Because it has been chanted so many times as also with deep emotion. And that emotion has entered into the letter, into the very sentence. So therefore, this mantra has this tremendous power and we can, uh, it, this mantra shakti can be revealed, can reveal in our heart only if we nurture that with deep affection and concentration and love. And every mantra becomes, it's called Siddha mantra. Siddha mantra, perfected, perfected. So I can create one mantra today. That will have not that power. Siddha mantra means, which has al already gained its potentiality by a Siddha, a perfected person. A perfected person have practiced that and left for us. That energy can be easily uh, grabbed. So it should come from perfected person. That's why mantra is that the, that's why the difference between this. The mantras probably we get you know, from our teachers. You can find, go into the Google search. You'll find all the mantras. You go to the Chandi, all the mantras are all given. Shakti Vijas are there. But why then you need a teacher? Why it should come from a teacher? Is it not? Look at that as a, in a nowadays online thing is all uh, everywhere online teaching is going on. But why everyone is trying to get a college and spend so many money, 70,000, 60,000, why dollars? To go to the school, what is there? The books are there, and you can grab everything online. But there is a, there is a special need of someone who can transmit that knowledge to us. And spiritual life, in spiritual level, it is more important. That's why it is said a teacher should be pure in character, because what he preaches, it should reflect in his life. Otherwise, these words will have no meaning. Pure in character. It should not be doing some business with this. That's why quick fix things. Uh, this mantra does not work. Some people come back, or Swami Shahananda Maharaj used to say sometimes. Someone says, am I, am I to have another mantra to make it strong? Uh, mantra is mantra. Mantra power is there. You need not have to add another mantra to make it strong. It is already powerful. Only our part is important that what we have to do. It should come from such a person. It is best is if you get a Brahma Gani, a noir of truth. Yeah? Best. There, there, 
words of tremendous force uh, that will have immediate effect. Some people, of course, immediate effect that I said is also secondary because it depends on the recipient. But still, if it comes from a guru who is a realized soul, then it is most powerful. And you can feel it then and there itself. But at least not. But someone can teach me if I'm a fifth grade school child. So someone in the 10th grade, 11th grade, can you not teach me a little of my subject? So at least that person has moved a little forward and practiced himself. And what he is saying, is it in accordance with the scriptures, in the Upanishads, in the Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the authentic expression of spirituality, does it tally with it? Does that person know the inner meaning of all these scriptural texts, what it indicates? So these are the conditions. If we get such a teacher, then Ascharja Bhakta, Kushala Sulabdha, Ascharja Gyata, Kushala Shishta. This type of ideal teacher, ideal student. Ideal student? Ideal student is who? He will be just panting for breath as we are, as we are when we are put under the water. He will be panting for this realization of the truth or knowing the truth or reaching that eternal substance which is in our self. So, Ascharja Bhakta, when it combines together, the effect is immediate, the mantra shakti immediate, Ramakrishna. And he does not have to say the mantra. Mantra power goes by touch. It touches someone and the effect of mantra goes. And Sri Ramakrishna, even the mantra shakti is how much you see. It is, we can recall one vision of Ramakrishna. Ramakrishna is gone to the pilgrimage and he was in Benaras. And he was in the boat. And his boat was taken close to the cremation ghat where the bodies are cremated. And Sri Ramakrishna suddenly had a mystic vision. He saw that the Lord Shiva, the Guru, that's a Lord Shiva is called Guru's Guru. Uh, so, Lord Guru appeared and he is giving the mantra. See, he is giving the mantra in the ear of the departed. He's already dead, but the soul remains little time close to the body. So, he is giving the Shiva mantra and Mother is coming untied. Mother is the Shakti. Shiva is giving the mantra. The mantra shakti and shakti manifesting mother untying and the soul is becoming free. It's a very demonstrated expression of mantra shakti. Mantra should come from an authentic person. That's the fundamental point. And if that mantra comes, shakti, when it's in its fullest extent, it un unveils and the soul who is in bondage will be totally liberated from all one this. What a great demonstration that Shakti is the Bija Mantra, what we have in our mantra. And that Shakti is the Mother Divine, Annapurna, is a demonstrated uh, in Ramakrishna's vision. The Mother came and so kind, she untied the touch. Because the mantra is given by Shiva, Ascharja Bhakta. And as a result, the soul, whatever may be, it is compassionate area. She was placed, Benaras is a place of compassion. Whatever someone does, if he can die there, then he is free. Not to come back again. But how it is happening? There also the principle is kept. That it is Guru, Shiva Guru, Shiva Guru, Jaya Guru, Shiva Guru. In our early days of Belun Monastery, when Swami Vivekananda started that in Baranagar days, they used to sing this Jai Guru, Shiva Guru, Shiva Guru, Jai Guru, like that. Shiva is the eternal Guru. 
and mother is the shakti untying the knots of body so these are this general idea about mantra and mantra any mantra which comes from a realized soul or uttered by a realized soul that carries that tremendous power but still that power will not manifest if it is not nurtured well as i give the example holy mother said the seed remaining on a stone and and the by chance that that thing falls into the proper ground is a difference seed remains seed forever you can keep the seed for years together but that seed does not lose its potential power that's why there is one story <clears throat> uh though it is closely related uh this story that one day um, swami madhavananda maharaj he was our president that time he was the general secretary so so he was uh, went to my mother's home in calcutta from belur mot in those days we have very poor financial condition so they used to go general secretary like any ordinary person entering into the bus and bus one bus goes from here to dunlop and then he change another bus from dunlop to oh, bag, bag bazaar uh, and then he went and would need something official work whatever was there and finished and he is coming out of mother's house and going to catch the bus bus stand number 3 bus stand takes it takes them to dunlop bridge and dunlop bridge will change another bus anyhow so when he is going that uh, one senior devotee uh, he was walking with swami and said the swami now it is what has happened all the spiritual power is gone as it were when mother was there when sarudananda swami was there when mahapurush maharaj was there shivananda what a spiritually vibrant belur mot was and now it is everything is uh, lost always we feel like that as if the potential power of the redeeming power for which the ramakrishna came is lost and he went 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 and he was questioning what do you think what are you thinking then just coming near to the bus just climbing to the bus he stood up and said you know the holy ganga starts is in the high himalayas there you see the ganga water crystal clear it's a glacier becoming the ganga and now think that ganga water comes down to <clears throat> gangotri 14 miles down goes to benaras goes to elhabad go down 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 and you find when it comes to calcutta is ganga water where it was pristine clean and clear and here is dirty water mixed with so many waste garbage these that you see this is the difference in the outward thing but it does not lose is pavani shakti the power to redeem ganga water is so pure you touch ganga in the high himalayas or you touch ganga in calcutta or you elhabad or in dakshineshwar or in belumar power of the purity the freedom which ganga can give that is not lost at all that means the shakti what i wanted to say this mantra shakti is transmitted from guru to guru disciple disciple to disciple disciple to disciple its power is never lost only if it is taken care of the purity will unfold the inner truth so this is few words about mantra shakti and it is it needs nurturing as i said what is the way of nurturing it is only repeating the holy name and swami has mentioned also repeating with love when you are repeating now feeling that he is here with me that shakti embodiment of the shakti 
is Ramakrishna or Holy Mother or whatever is your Ishta Devata. Embodiment of that infinite energy is in my heart and feeling his presence and repeating the mantra constantly, constantly. That will give the manifestation of the Shakti will come and that manifestation will make us free from bondage, suffering, or pain and anguish of our life and give us eternal liberation. So this has the potential power to practice is our question. Uh, it is uh, it is obhyasa and vairagya bhyam tan nirodha. And the Patan, uh, Patanjali says, Bhagavad Gita says, obhyasa, obhyasa, obhyasa. Swami Brahmananda says, practice, practice, practice. And you can practice anytime. Mantra is not a, that you have to be <coughs> sitting in your shrine room and you do mantra. You are Anywhere the mantra can be practiced so that it flourishes quickly, the day and night, like breath. In every breath, you can chant the mantra. In every moment, you can feel the presence and chant the mantra. And the mantra of Shakti will do the rest of the thing. As Sami uh, Atma Gyanam referred, that cor corrosive power, it has a corrosive power. Like acid, you drop, it corrodes the, all the blemishes of our mind, it cleans. So mantra shakti has the potential power we have to practice, practice, practice. Thank you. If you have any some question for a few minutes, we can. Yeah. <clears throat> Normally, that is a special day. We think of Naung Namah Shivaya. But point is that keep that Vedantic background in your mind. The Naung Namah Shivaya. Who is Shiva? Shiva is the Satchidananda Shiva. Huh? Who is Ramakrishna? Ramakrishna is not a man. Ramakrishna is Satchidananda Ramakrishna. Uh, so who is any, if in a special day we invoke special names. But you can chant the same, that's why it is called in our tradition, you get the Guru Mantra, you can apply for any puja. You can do Shiva puja, you can do Mother Kali puja. But as we are invoking that particular aspect, and that's why we go to that particular mantra. Hmm. Anything? Uh, tantric practice. Tantric Shakti, that's why Shakti, Shiva Shakti, all these ideas. But man, mantra is anything mantra. Gita is mantra. Gita is called mantra. Repeat the mantra. That means you can, I said the Vedantic mantra. Aham Brahmasmi, Tattamasi, Pragyanam Brahma, Ayam Atma Brahma. These are mantras. Vedanta student, Advaita Vedanta, strong Advaita Vedanta, they don't care for your this be other mantras. Their mantra is this. Day and night they say, I am that, I am that, I am that. I am that Pragana, the supreme knowledge. I am that consciousness. The approach is different. No, no, that is Veda, Vedic. That is Vedic, Vedantic practice. So many approaches are there. But we are talking about mantra is mantra. That 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 repeated main main intention is that manana trayate. So we have to manan means reflect and reflect, not chant. At the same time, chant and reflect its meaning. So if you reflect the meaning in the in the tantric tradition, the mother tradition, there is the shakti, infinite Brahman shakti manifested in the divine form of my chosen ideal, or divine form of my, 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 of my divine ideal 
is through the Shakti unfolding into the infinite. So both ways, truth is the same, ultimately reaching the same truth. When you say, I am Brahman, so I remain as a, in a mixed with body-mind complex, and Brahman is infinite. Brahman is also mixed with the like controlling power called Ishara Shakti. Uh, give up all the powers of Ishara, etc. That is Satchidananda. And give up all the five koshas, not the body, not the mind, not this, 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 this. Here is also consciousness. So day and night reflect on the mantra and its meaning. Manan, mananat, manana, manana, manana. So our mantra also when it's said, one can think of the same mantra. You can think of the infinite ocean of consciousness. Why do you are chanting your mantra? Because your mantra gives that. Your feature is there, you like to think of the form, do that. You think of the mother, mother is there. The divine Shakti is there. So three aspects are all there. So that's a manana, reflection. And if we do, uh, do this manana, then it becomes much easier. And if we don't do, it will unfold in time. Okay, you are asking some question. Yeah. How can you see God in all? How can you see God in all? In you know, good people, we can see God easily. But in the bad people, how can I see God? That's true. Very true. It's very difficult. Ah. So that happens in elevated condition. When one is elevated in a higher level, they can see spontaneously. But we have to practice. Ramakrishna going through the streets of Calcutta, looking at the prostitutes, he is saluting, oh mother, you are in this form. See, he has clear distinction. It is a form, but his mother is inside. A spontaneous experience. Sami Vivekananda walking in the street of Cairo, no? And uh, uh, forgot what um, they are walking, walking, and entered into a, uh, that, that type of place where all the ladies and they're calling some Vivekananda like that. And everyone is really, all the companions, they're very upset. Oh my God, unconsciously, why did he came here? Walking, walking, walking. And then, but Swami Vivekananda just went there in front of these ladies, half naked ladies. And then he said, and he ran into tears. His eyes started in the tears and said, oh, they are all Shakti, eh? infinite power themselves. They do not know who are they, and they have put themselves to this level. Feeling their suffering, he went into tears, and these ladies saw that Christ has come before them. Just regard. See, it becomes spontaneous. That's why what we have to do, better to avoid those who are bad people, First, try that. And if you have to live with them, they say, ha, 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 you are very great. Ramakrishna taught us. Eh? Meaning, meaning, that's, you know that's a bad guy. Don't irritate him with any other. Say, oh, oh he has come. Give honor, eh? Let him have a seat here. And what are you doing? Go and bring some sweets. And then quickly finish and let him go. Make some intelligent approach to that person. Let them not disturb your peace. And if you cannot, then haji haji karte rahiye baithiye apna tham. What you said is perfectly okay. You are right, you are right. No, I said, okay, okay. Don't contradict and don't go, go into difficulty. But this is the how to add, uh, 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 avoid them. But seeing God, is it too high a standard? But yes, that can be also be practiced if we have our deep practice in the morning meditation. The day you have a deeper meditation, the, you can withstand greater blows that day. You are grounded, if you are grounded in your prayer and meditation that morning very strongly, then you can withstand many knocks and blows. If that morning meditation is not stable, 
then uh, tell, uh, boat sings like that. Yeah. So this is the practice to be done. Yes, you are saying something. Yeah. Oh, Maharaj, what are you asking? <laughs> go, go. Yeah, we choose our guru also, but we can search for guru. See, the school boy after finishing 10th grade, uh, 11th grade, 12th grade, what they do? Oh, which campus I will go? UCSD, UCSB, or I will go to Chicago, or Shalgiri, what is my subject? Who is the professor there? You see, you go and inquire, then they will say, hey, this is good, this is good, Google search. So similarly, in spiritual life also, uh, there will be some the genuine place you have to find out. You are inquire, 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 and pray to God. Guru uh, Milade. <laughs> oh Lord, please uh, send some Guru for me. And when this sincere prayer comes, hey, actually God manages. Uh, of course, Ramakrishna's like all the Gurus came to him. Uh, he didn't go for searching for Guru. All the Gurus came to Dakshinesha. Huh? So that's an exception, but yes, but Guru also comes in our life. Uh, but suddenly, certain connection, these are very difficult thing to understand. I tell you one story, there was Swami Biresh Sarananda Swami. He, he, Maharaj was initiated by Holy Mother, no? But Sannas from Raja Maharaj. So, and he, another friend of him used to come to Belun Mart with the Raja Maharaj's time. And when he asked for mantra, Swami Brahmananda said, uh, he, well, he, he said that uh, Prabhu, Prabhu will in, give you initiation. Meaning, I'm not going to give you, Lord will give. That's the normal sense. Uh, saying, I am not going to give you, the Lord will give you. He was rejected, he felt bad. And then actually, that was the first president talking, Brahmananda Sam. And then second president came, Akhandananda, Mahapurush Maharaj, all these presidents came and went away. And this went on and on and on. Tenth president, Sami Prabhu, Prabhu Maharaj, his name was Prabhu. Biresh Sharananda Sami, his other name was Prabhu Maharaj. And he became the president. And that man, at old age, he had initiation from that Prabhu. So you will see when it happens, how it happens, yeah, you, we do not know. But if, if you yearn for it, it will happen. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like you are wearing a tube and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the question is that whether we can <coughs> repeat the name anywhere in our office, wearing the shoes, or uh, I am eating something. Huh? Yes, when you are really at home, uh, do the best you can. But in every context, we can repeat the low holy name that sanctifies everything. Mantra will sanctify that thing, which is if there is any impurity in it, it will sanctify. That's why uh, mantra can be chanted anytime. You are in the shower, you are in the walking situation, you are making an exercise. Uh, let the mantra inwardly it can go, That's, and that makes it like a breathing. As you are breathing, and we are talking. Anytime we are engaged because I'm thinking something, my breath has stopped. I'm thinking something, I'm sleeping. My breath, breathing is going on continuously, no? So mantra japa can be practiced in such a way that mantra will continuously go on even if you are sleeping. That's called ajapa. And that is the highest state. And mother su suggested that practice that 
and it will happen automatic. That means we have to be aware that I try to spend uh, idle moments in other thoughts. Even sometimes we are, we are doing some thinking something, but practice. Vaishnavas do that. In Vaishnava tradition, you will find that you go to the Hare Krishna people, uh, there with the rosaries all the time. Uh, in the marketplace, they are going to market, purchase something. Meaning we may smile at them. Eh, what is this use? But we should be respectful for that, that they are trying to remember God even in that situation. So we should be careful to practice those things, God's name. In the Christianity, there is seven, you know, in the rosary, seven prayers. In one, 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 one length, you go, uh, may ma Mother Mary, uh, blessed thy name, or something like that, there is a prayer. Ah, right, right. So, okay, any other? Oh, Maharaj, <laughs> you are asking question. We read that Thakur, before he passed away, instructed the Holy Mother, and he went once to the Sigid, and the Guru would get what they said. Do we know much about that? Did he instruct her to give his own name? When did she start doing that? Is there any record of any of these things? Uh, at least I do not know, but I think there are, and there are those mantras what came from Thakur, came to Mother, or direct disciples, then they are all in one place preserved. It is there, but it is very uh, carefully kept with the President song. President Maharaj uh, keeps that treasure. Uh, so when anyone is allowed to give the mantra, so they are allowed to see that. But we do not know what is who gave and how it's kept. But the mantra is given from the time and in this tradition that is given. And there you can find all types of mantras. Would she give her own mantra? Not normally, no. No one gives her own mantra. No, but I mean with her name. No, I do not know. How did that start? <laughs> <laughs> I do not know that. Yeah. Okay, so happy to see you all and, and uh, please continue our uh, classes, maybe more attendance will come if the uh, situation improves more, then more people can join. Anyway, these are all for our own spiritual growth and development. We are to be liberated from all the bondage. That is our purpose of life. And we'll have to do that by our own effort, by the grace of Guru, by the grace of God. All these are there. But this last word is Guru Krishna Vaishnavir Tiner Daya Holo Akir Daya Bineji Chare Kare That Ramakrishna used to say this. Guru Guru was gracious to give the mantra. And Guru has given what is to be for eternal practice. He has given the treasure house, uh, the key of the house. The Guru has kindly given that. Krishna, the Lord, was very kind to make arrangement as such that I got that opportunity, Krishna. And Vaishnava, means all the devotees are very happy that another person is trying to come in the path of spirituality, their blessings are upon us. But what a misfortune. Because of the lack of compassion or grace of one, that is my mind. Jeev, we ordinary people, is totally lost and destroyed. That means we got everything. Now we have to be conscious very careful and approach spirituality, take help of the mind and concentrate the mind or direct the mind or teach the mind to think of God all the time. So thank you all. And Mother bless us all. Thakur bless us all. Live happily and good health. Jai Maharaj.